Yo, it's your boy K-A-N-E, a.k.a. The Whiskey Bouse. What's going on, peoples? Happy Thursday, Thursday. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. It's a it's a special Thursday, man. You know why? Y'all see it. Yeah, I see it. It's preseason, baby. Preseason starts today. My Bears play today, man. I'm excited, man. Welcome back, football, man. Brother been missing y'all, man. You know, welcome back, football. But let's jump right into it, man. Y'all see my choice for the day, man. Jim Bean. Jim Bean. Single barrel joint now. This is 95 proof. Single barrel. Jim Bean jaw, man. See, they got a little chain on it, you know what I'm saying? Two chains! No, I'm just jiving, but um, I had this bottle for quite some time. Um, I thought I did a review on it, but I didn't. Um, actually, the footage I had uh, got corrupted, so um, that's why, you know, I just didn't do it completely straight over, man. But welcome back, peoples. Um, Y'all know how I usually do it, man. This... I'm going to uh, give you the color texture. I'm going to sniff it, taste it, rate it, suggest it, and all that good stuff, man. I'll, it's not um, it's not strong enough for me to add a little water to it. 95 proof is, it's, it's okay, you know, it's not all that. So, uh, let's jump into it, man. Now, the nose. Typical Jim Bean, man. I'm smelling a little like Cornish, um, like a little wheat, like corn, you know, uh, some vanilla. Typical, man. It's not harsh on the nose, um, what I expect. It's only 95 proof, so I expect that. Man. Let me give y'all, let me give y'all the color texture of it, man. Decent. I'm gonna ride with the amber, man. Just riding up, up under the amber. Do that little swirl. That swirl gangsta, ain't it, y'all? <laughs> All right, man. Here it is, man. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Welcome back, man. Drink with me. Cheers. Here it is. Cheers. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Welcome back, football. Let's go. When you first sip the Jim Beam single barrel, you taste the vanilla, you taste the uh, like Cornish, like I said on the nose, the like uh, the Cornish pat, like the wheat kind of, but it's not weeded. Um, you kind of get that. Sweetness is there. The sweetness is there. It's not too much. Finish like that. Finish like that. I can't believe that this is supposed to be a 95 proof uh, liquor, man. Like, um, I, <laughs> I don't see it, man. I, I don't taste it, man. Um, it's, it's just Jim Beam, man. It's, it's Jim Beam. This I see very little difference with this from the regular white label or even the uh black label I, I did a review on man it's it's very it's no big difference man like for this to be a single barrel and the price was like thirty five dollars um close you pushing forty dollars with tax and this is what you give Kane like this is good in mixed drinks it's good in mixed drinks but why would I spend forty dollars to put in a mixed drink when I can get something for twenty dollars, you know what I'm saying? That still give me that top shelf quality. This right here, Jim Beam. Now, let me 
rate this first before I continue on, man. Kane, a.k.a. the Whiskey Boss Gives. Jim Beam Single Barrel. Y'all yeah, see it. I got this from, y'all can see it. Y'all can see it. Kenwood. That's gangster, man. This is what the Whiskey Boss Gives this, man. And also, it's because of uh, the price. When I rate it, I'm putting in everything as far as, you know, being considered of the price for people and, you know, the taste and all that good stuff. Uh, Whiskey Boss, man. I'm going to have to give this a 4 out of a 10, man. A 4 out of a 10. This, this Jim Bean, why? <clears throat> why? Why would you create something a single this single barrel? Like the bottle was, the bottle looked nice, man. When I when I seen the bottle, I'm like, yo, this must be some good stuff here. This must be close to Knob Creek. Look at look at it. You know what I'm saying? The bottle is like boom. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking it's a step up from the white label, the black label. And it's not, man. It's not. It's almost the same to me. This this Jim Bean stepped your proof game up, man. You charging people a little five dollars more or six, seven dollars more, and I'm not even tasting the, the the proof difference, man. Like I said, you it's drinkable, but for spending forty dollars, don't don't waste your money, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's just simple as that. Don't waste your money, man. Because you, you mostly, if you like the Whiskey Boss, you're going to use this for a mixed drink. But like I said, why would you spend $40 on a mixed drink, man? Why? You know, just just why? When you, it's, it's liquors out there. It's whiskeys out there that's much cheaper and give you that better a better quality than this. For this to be a single barrel, would I buy it again? Hell no. Hell no, I won't buy this again. Why? 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 Why would I buy this again? Nope. 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 Not the whiskey boss. Nope. I will not buy this again. Um, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Check this out, man. Please help me. If y'all haven't did it, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach at least 100. Once I reach 100 subscribers, I think I'm close to like 86, 87, something like that. Once I reach 100, I'm going to change some things up. I can't wait to get into that, man. Can't wait to get into that so y'all stick in. But that's my review of this Jim Bean, man. Jim Bean, step, step your proof game up. I think I'm going to try one more product. One more product of Jim Bean. Hopefully, uh, they bring it. Hopefully, Jim Bean bring it because the black label is boo-boo. The white label is boo-boo. And this is boo-boo too to me, man. It is. I'm sorry. If y'all not missing anything with this, if y'all had the white label, y'all had this. If y'all had the white label, y'all had this. It tastes just like that, man. So there it is. It's your boy K-A-N-E, a.k.a. The Whiskey Boss. Go Bass, man. We doing it. Hey, this our year, man. Hey, hey, this our year. They, they, they rated us as being one of the worst teams this year. We gonna show them, man. There it is. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Peace.